The last feature that we're going to talk about in the toolbar are these tools right here. We're going to skip over these ones right here because these are all new features that we'll explain in the new features segments. This first tool, if I click on it, that is my select tool. So that is how you will pick up things and move them around. So you often have to go back and click on select so that it, you can move your items around. For instance, if I have a picture, I grab my picture. In order to move my picture around, I need to make sure I'm on the select tool and that will give me all my options. Right below it is your pens. When you click on the pen, you'll notice that it expands. I'll do it again. It expands into more menu options. The first menu gives you your pen type. You have various pen types. There's a pen, regular pen. There's calligraphy pen, crayon, highlighter. Text pen we'll talk about um, later. It's got many new features, but there's also a creative pen that has all these funky designs. Um, a paintbrush that looks like you are painting. Um, you have a um, crayon. Where's my crayon? It looks like crayon. So you have a lot of options here. The magic pen is erasable ink. So if I draw something with a magic pen, after a few seconds, the ink will erase. And I also have a shape recognition pen. So if you are terrible at making shapes, as I am, whoops, it will snap it into shape. Sorry, that's better. And I'll make my circle. Ooh, that was terrible. But you can see how it will snap it into shape. Obviously, my rectangle was not good enough. Let's see. There we go. So that's the shape pen, if you'd like to use that. Um, you also have options of um, your color. You can adjust your color right here and your line style. So if you want it to be thicker, um, so if you want your pen to look like this and you want it to be red, you would click here. So you've got your pens. Okay, so that's how the pen tool works. Again, we'll talk about text pen later. Um, next, you have shapes. Again, if you click on shapes, um, it'll highlight and you'll get a whole bunch of different shape options. If you click on your shape, next time I'm, I click my mouse, notice how I've got the crosshairs instead of my arrow. If I click on my shapes, I will be now making that shape wherever I go. When I let go, I click and drag my mouse wherever I want and I'm making that shape. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of different shapes and there's even more down here. There, These ones are kind of neat too, to make speech bubbles, thought bubbles. Um, we've got some different options there that you may not have noticed about. Okay, so that is simply clicking this little arrow down. Um, again, you can adjust the color, the fill color or the line color. So fill color would be what color it is on the inside. And then I'll show you my outside. And now next time I make that check mark, that's the color it's going to look. Um, let's see, this makes a perfect circle. Okay, from the center and this makes an oval just to be sure and next we have our text again you can choose your different fonts here um, whatever font you would like you can choose your type size and when you click then you're instantly typing you can also change the color here with the same similar features okay um, and the transparency this is transparency so Right now I've got high and it's set on um, no transparency, but I can make it very transparent. See how it's disappearing on me? Okay. Um, so that's the type set. The type, sorry, the text button. 